going through the basic Excel functions that you need to know. On this page, we're going to be doing if statement as well as a payment. Uh, we're doing a car payment, and to do the amount to finance, it's you subtract the five thousand from there, twenty-seven thousand dollars. Want to do the monthly payment? The monthly payment is based on the criteria: the, the price being financed, number of years, payments per year, and the rate. So we go into we, formulas. Financial, PMT, and you've got the rate. you paying this monthly by 12. And in this case here, since we put in the number of months, we divide it. The number of payments per year. It's a three-year loan. And you're paying it monthly. You do, use this cell here, or you could type in the 12. Look at the spreadsheet. Present value of the loan. You want to appear as a positive, hit the minus sign first. This is the amount here, $798.95. We have to do a bit of a little of arithmetic here. We know how much of our income we're spending on the car payment. We have the annual income, we have the monthly payment. You have to monthlyize or annualize one of the numbers. So you're going to take the monthly payment. You're going to divide it by, and I would suggest using parentheses, the annual income divided by, you could use the 12 here, close the parentheses, make it look like a percent, we could add a decimal point. So we want to know in this box here an if statement. It's either true or false. If you spend less than 20% of your income on the car, which we are in this case, you can invest nine and a quarter percent of your income, otherwise zero. So we're going to go into formulas, logical, if. So you have the test here. I want to say the percent of income. I want to say less than. If I say 20%, you can either type in 0.2 or 20%. It's saying true to the right here. If it's true, you're going to invest nine and a quarter percent of your in annual income times nine point two five percent, otherwise zero. So this person is putting away forty seven hundred dollars a year. However, let's say this person decided to buy a thirty eight thousand dollar car. not investing anything, spending 23% on the income. We're going to go into this page here. We're determining commission for the used car salesman or the car salesman. We're going to be doing a VLOOKUP. I'm also going to name a range. This is the range here. This is the price here, the commission. You do not include the captions here. So I'm going to call this commission. I just click up in there, hit the enter key. I'm going to do a VLOOKUP. This is a two-parter. In some cases, you don't need to do it, but you don't want it to say one two cents. So it's a V lookup, lookup and reference. The lookup value is a twelve thousand here, and I could type in commission. Spell it right. The column index number. It's in the second column. You have column one, column two. Type in a two. Say OK. It's saying 0.02. It's actually a formula. What you would do now is click after the formula. You could also do it before the letter V. And then you multiply it by the price of the car. So it's going to be $240 for this car. This person is going to get $1250. It's doing a calculation based on the 6% commission. Last one we're doing here, absolute relative references, calculator. You're going to be locking in either a cell, a row, or a column. You're doing the uh, payment function here. This is in a cell. This is in a row. This is in a column. 
and to lock in a column it's a dollar sign before the letter because that's the column dollar sign before the number for the row dollar sign before both let us do the payment function I could click in here and it's going to show if I go into most recent payment double click on it I've got the rate here I'm going to lock in the row divided by 12 and I didn't want that dollar sign there I click here it's B dollar four you get some crazy numbers showing you're paying eighty two thousand dollars a month on a ten thousand dollar car you have a problem the number of payments four years we're locking in the cell multiply it by 12 it's going to sell 48 because it's four years the present value we want it to be positive hit the minus sign you click inside here we want it to read dollar a5 I hit the F4 key once a second a third it's a toggle make sure you put the minus I have that drag it to the right or copy it and then bring it down this is the solution.